so welcome back to my channel it's me pineapple vegan and if you you know haven't already go ahead and you know just hit that little subscribe button at the bottom before we get started y'all know the routine if this is your first time here welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back boo I missed you so today we are going to make tuna fish sandwiches yeah I, I know I know you guys yeah so we are using this vegan imitation tuna from Plow Distribution Company, you guys. So it's Plants Lead Our Way. They're an amazing company. They basically provide you with like plant-based um, meat alternatives. They even have cheeses. They have like these little drumstick, little chicken looking thingies. And y'all, they have a lot of stuff. And I'm just so excited to try this. Cause one of my favorite things was tuna fish sandwich before I went vegan. Obviously I can't have that, you know, but I've heard some really good things about this. So I can't wait to try it. So the key to this is you want to squeeze out as much of the water as possible. Cause it does have liquid in there. I have a hole in the bottom of this already. Cause I figured it would be easier to just squeeze it out through the bag. And you just squeeze it as much as you can. I got the majority of the liquid out when I was squeezing it through the package. So now I'm just trying to get the rest of it out by squeezing it in my hands. Y'all, um, um, um. It doesn't have that funky fish smell. You know what I'm talking about when you open up a can of tuna. Look at it, it looks just like tuna. So you get tuna, but you don't have to eat the dead fish. Little fishies, little tuna, tuna get to, you know, keep on swimming and living with their little tuna family. You don't have to like, you know, chop it up for your tuna casserole or tuna salads or your little sandwiches or anything. I have to reiterate, squeeze 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 your life away if you actually have like a cheesecloth i would recommend using that i actually have one but i don't feel like doing all that so i'm just going to keep squeezing it okay so now that i got all the extra stuff out of the way it's time to mix it up so you basically just make this how you would make regular tuna and here i have garlic salt and i have onion powder and a little bit of sugar animal bone char free sugar okay I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And some cracked black pepper. I'm just gonna give it a quick mix while it's still dry. And then let's go ahead and add some salt. I like the pink Himalayan sea salt. Mix that in like so. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mayo. Today I'm using just mayo. Um, I like Follow Your Heart's Veganese. It's really good. I like that one as well. So it doesn't matter. Honestly, just buy whichever one is on sale. And like I said, make it how you want to make it. You don't have to use the amounts that I'm using or anything like that. You can use less mayo, more mayo. Uh, and I, I mean, you could use no mayo, but I can't imagine tuna fish sandwich without mayo. That's just, this is just blasphemy. It's kind of scary. Like if you're a type of person who makes tuna sandwiches without mayo, I don't trust you, man. I want more. So, so in. You know what they put on french fries in Holland instead of ketchup? What? Mayonnaise. <laughs> I do what I want. I think I need more black pepper. I haven't tasted it yet, but I can tell. I don't want to taste it till I put everything in it. I wish y'all could hear my stomach. It's growling so hard. <laughs> so I like to add relish to my tuna. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And I can't believe I'm saying this because before I was vegan, I hated onions. But I actually love raw onions now. I think the red onions are my favorite. So I have a little bit, not a lot. And I'm just gonna put it in there as well. I actually think I wanna add some more mayonnaise. 
So, are you eating it? I already know if somebody over there like, dang, she put in more mayonnaise in there? That's a lot of mayonnaise. This is witchcraft. I'm sorry. What type of sorcery are they up to? I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of Old Bay. All I'm gonna say is one thing. Isaac, I need more of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. It's so good. Add some more cracked black pepper. I'm trying to get it perfect. Cause I'm about to go in. I added a little bit more onion powder and garlic powder, not garlic salt this time. It has enough salt in it. So it's time to build it. I'm not gonna put cheese on it this time. Sometimes I put cheese on my tuna sandwiches and sometimes I don't. It depends on my mood and I'm not in the cheese mood today. But I am gonna put spinach. Okay, and add that. And no tuna fish sandwich is complete without some potato chips. I love the jalapeno potato chips from Kettle Brand. These are vegan, obviously. Look at this. Okay, you guys, now it's time. Time to put it to the test, okay? I just, I can't believe it. They did an amazing job. And again, I got this from Plow Distribution Center, Plants Lead Our Way. You can actually follow them on Instagram as well. This is amazing. I cannot believe that this is vegan, but I'm very grateful and I'm so happy that they found out a way. But guys, as always, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, okay? That's it for this one. Follow, you know, Plow Distribution's Instagram and tell them I sent you. Tell them, you know, if you like this stuff. If you order some and you like it, please let me know. Let them know because I know they would love to hear from you guys. And I would love to hear from you guys. Give it a try. It's amazing. I cannot believe it's vegan, but indeed it is. So guys, stay tuned for my next video. And I love you. Welcome to Costco, I love you. Welcome to Costco, I love you.